feeling stuck. You can hear the clock ticking. And with every minute, the anxiety grows. The pressure mounts. You can't sleep at night. You sit in front of the computer for hours blank. Guys, this happens to every graduate student as part of their trajectory. But the good news is there are some proven tips to combat it. I'm Professor David Stuckler. I'm coming to you from my office at University of Bocconi, Milan, and I've helped hundreds of graduate students overcome being stuck to break through. I've published over 350 articles. I've been there. Try out these four tips. Watch until the very end because I'm going to give you one you probably haven't heard of, but is going to change your results. The first reason many students get stuck is because they're actually not ready to begin writing. To write effectively and well and not waste time, you have got to have all the essential ingredients ready to go and be put in place. Writing should be the last 10% of your project. It's a bit like cooking. You need to have your olive oil ready, your salt to the side, your onions chopped, and the French call it mise en place, so that you just put everything where they're supposed to be at the right time. What I do with my coaching students is I have them create first their results set. This result set is incredibly important. It's gonna make your writing easier. So if you work in science, that result set might be a set of figures and tables that tell the story that you want to tell in your research. Uh, for other fields, it may be a set of points, theoretical or conceptual, that you're going to back up with evidence and citations from the peer-reviewed literature. The key point is you need to have this result set in place to help you get unstuck. Second tip. So many students get stuck because they're trying to do the hardest part first. Uh, they're trying to do the introduction and write the paper in a linear sequence. Now, this may work well for other types of writing, but for graduate writing, you actually want to dispense with that way of doing things and do it in a different way. Write from the inside out. In graduate writing, right, it's not just important to set out what you found and what you want to argue or show, but how you arrived at those conclusions. And the how is much easier to write than the what to start with. So for many, that will mean writing the method section of their paper first. And this is a bit like saying writing the recipe uh, of the cooking. Well, first you put in the carrots, then you put in the celery, then you put in the onions, then a dash of olive oil. It's much simpler to do because you don't need to have a Pulitzer Prize winning essay to write up the methods and explain what you did. And it's also something that you know better than anybody. Start from the inside out. Number three, take a break. If you've been staring at the computer for hours, you are doing yourself no favors. You are wasting time. Go out, get some fresh air, take a walk. If you exercise, go hit the gym. A good sweat session is going to unleash mental energy. It's going to unleash endorphins that are going to give you a renewed vigor and focus to go. A sound body is a sound mind. The cliche is really true. Take a break, do something that's going to make you feel good, and then hit it again. Okay, so if you've got your results set in place, you've started writing from the inside out, focusing on the how and not just the what, and you've taken a break, and you're still banging your head against the wall, feeling stuck, Got my fourth mechanism that's worked for many students and will work for you. So it's what I call a messy outline. Click the link below, take the outline and start filling it in for your topic. And then what I want you to do is just start regurgitating your material, recapitulating what you've got and dumping everything into the right sections. Even just copy and paste at this point. The goal here is to get you moving, to break that invisible barrier that's paralyzing you and leading you to feel endless frustration. And when you do that, it's going to be messy. It's going to look like you vomited on a page, but that's okay because you're going to come back to it and start cleaning it up later. 
Just make sure that you target things. Keep that messy outline structure intact. Keep things linear. And this is gonna help you break through where you've been feeling stuck before. Listen, if you found this video helpful and it helped you get unstuck, click below, drop me a comment and let me know. And if you're struggling with your academic writing, uh, apply for a one-to-one -one accelerator session with me. I've helped hundreds of students overcome barriers like these to accelerate their academic writing and finish their master's and PhD theses fast. I look forward to seeing you there.